Okay, so um, oh, let's move move that by accident. So we're looking at standard form and what this. Well, it's it calls it on this animation. It calls it scientific notation, but it's otherwise known as standard form. Okay, so you can say standard form or scientific oh, scientific notation. So it's to be honest with you, in England we generally use the um, it, at least in English science classrooms, we generally use the um, phrase standard form. So, um, so yeah, it's basically just as you said, it's a way of writing very, very large or very, very small numbers. How do you know if it's small or large? Uh, well, if it's got a minus here, then it means it's small. And if it doesn't have a minus, it means large. When I say small or large, I mean, um, I mean, basically, I guess it, what it means is if it's if it's just a, if it's a plus, so if there isn't a minus, it means times ten to something times ten or times ten times a hundred times a thousand times whatever. And if it's minus, it's more like divide by ten, divide by a hundred, divide by a thousand. So this one was a minus, so you're going to be dividing by something, and so well, basically, actually, you'd be dividing by a million in this case. But rather than think about it like that. Just think about the six here. If it's 10 to the minus six, it means it's the sixth place behind the decimal point. So if you zoom in on this number here, then <clears throat> the, if it, so that at the zero, that's, well, it's, it's on the zero. So that would be if there was no to the minus whatever, it would be just 4.17. And we want to put it this because it's a six we want to put it the sixth place behind so that's the first second third fourth fifth sixth okay so it's a sixth place behind the decimal point and then we put the one seven after that okay so that's how we do small numbers if it was a large number let's say if it was 10 to the six instead of um just 10 to the minus six then what you would do then is instead um you would write it like this. I'll, I'll use use the pen. So it's it would be four, and then you would start. Well, you you would write the other numbers right away, and you would imagine. Yeah, so you'd count them as well. So four, and then you go one, two, and then any of those after that you use zeros, and then you'd go three, four, five, six. So that would be 4.17 times 10 to the 6 uh, newtons. Okay. Does that make sense?